Hey guys, welcome back. And I hate to break this to you, but it's kind of rant time. So um, I've been uh, going on about this on uh, Facebook for a little while here now, and I know that others have brought up uh, this point in uh, other places. The one big concern that I have here with action PC football and something that I really think needs to be fixed in this game is the fatigue system, all right? So I've talked about this before. I went back into, remember, we have to go to rules to get to the fatigue system because why would we put it in, like, tools or settings or anything like that? We turned the game fatigue meter back on so that we still have to worry about this. And um, we have turned, uh, uh, sorry, usage, game usage penalties on, but we're leaving the other season usage penalties off. Now, I have a concern with this because we're halfway through the replay, and I don't know what kind of impact this is going to have overall. But I can tell you that as I look through every single team in the replay, I can see that the computer manager in particular is overusing star running backs, and it's um, overusing this by a significant margin. This was with the replay. Remember, I've had two weeks now with the fatigue set settings turned off. Before that, I had season and fatigue turned on as was part of the default settings. I didn't know what to change or what should be done. This is a major, major concern to me. And when you look at the Redskins, Jackson with 148 attempts, he had 176 in real life, right? And uh, other uh, players are not getting quite as many attempts. If we look at pretty much any team here, we will see the same thing. Franco Harris has 186 attempts in the replay as opposed to the 208 in real life. And the other running backs um, are far behind him and so on and so forth. This is one of the uh, major, major, and I mean, we have the same problem too with Pruitt getting so many runs. And the truth is that when you look closely at the other uh, running backs and the other players, they're not far off the pace. I've mentioned this before. One of the problems that we have is that the statistics in the game don't know how many times each of the receivers were targeted. And so as a result, even though Sype, uh, when you look at his um, uh, passing attempts, is up close to where he um, should be for a real replay, um, all of the uh, receivers, I guess with the exception of Mike Pruitt, are um, on pace to completely obliterate uh, the stats and the way that things are going. This is the reason why when we play, we keep running into players who are overly fatigued, um, even if they haven't played yet in the game or they haven't been targeted at all. They still start the game off as totally fatigued. Now, it's a huge, huge problem that I have with uh, this setting because it's really difficult to figure out how you're supposed to do this, how you're supposed to, uh, what what the answer is, how you're supposed to set things up. If you let the computer um, manager, the computer coach handle substitutions for you automatically, which you naturally would do because it's the easiest thing to do, you're going to run into this problem, right? Because the computer coach will do absolutely nothing and then you'll find yourself in the important part of a good, of an, or the uh, key part of an important game halfway through the season without having any of your marquee players able to play because they've been used too much up to this point. Now, and there are other problems here as well, right, which is that if we were to go down closely and uh, slowly and if we were to count, um, you know, all of the plays that have been run for each team, I am quite sure that we would discover, just eyeballing it, that our teams are running more plays in the replay than they ran in real life and that there's some problem with the um, actual pacing of the game and the pacing at which the players are coming out. This is another issue, and this is probably an issue with the game engine itself and with how clock management is being used. It's tricky in football because you want to have the ability to uh, change things from uh, you know one extreme to another, but, I mean... This is the reason why I really have a problem with any sort of fatigue system that um, will punish players for using like more than for having more than 100% of their carries or more than 100% of their receptions or whatever. I can't remember what it's set up to here, like 110%, 120% by default. Where are we? We'll go back to rules. Yeah, usage is uh, set if it's season usage to 100%, 110%, 120%, or a game usage will be set to moderate penalty if it's 10% of real life usage, 15%, or 20%. Um, within an individual game and then there are some uh, um, exemptions that um, uh, we can set up um, here clearly that I tried to set up so that um, you know it would be um, somewhat nice and somewhat helpful um, the problem with this with this system overall though is that I mean it's going to be impossible for us as players to emulate exactly what happened in real life which um, seems to be what is required 
The other problem um, is that uh, if the game itself is manufacturing more offensive plays in real life or in uh, the replay than happened in real life, there's like no way to get around this usage penalty, right? The problem that we have is that this is based upon the number of plays these guys are in for, but we don't know what the real life stats are for the number of plays. We don't know the real life stats for, you know, how many plays were the wide receivers in where it was a running play and they didn't touch the ball. And so as a result, we're being punished for things that, you know, we can't know, we can't predict in real life, and uh, it's really hard to manage by ourselves. I suppose the one way to get around this is to pay careful attention and to realize that, okay, if you had a uh, 10-yard run with your running back, like take him off of the uh, squad and put him on the bench and bring another guy on. But unfortunately, in-game, this requires more than a simple click. This is actually kind of a frustrating and convoluted process. And if you don't do it yourself, the computer manager won't do it for you. Okay, and so here's a little bit more of uh, information for you. This comes straight from the uh, Action PC Football Manual, and you can see that uh, season usage and game usage are based, again, on the number of, say, catches for a wide receiver rather than the number of times that they're targeted or the number of snaps that they have. And for running backs, it's based upon the uh, number of uh, plays that they run and number of uh, running attempts that they have which is a concern of mine. I noticed in my most recent game, and you may have noticed as well, that I wasn't targeting uh, the uh, receivers who um, had uh, fatigue that was um, around the 85 84% level, and they became more fatigued anyway, even though I wasn't targeting them, which means that you have to be strategic about which players you use at which time, and you, know, you want to make sure that you're saving your... Uh, uh, the certain players for a certain point in time of the game, but it's a real, I mean, convoluted thing to do. If you want me to start, you know, managing the complete roster for every single down, this is going to take a long time. Playing a game is going to turn into a chore. And then my next question is, so what happens with my linemen? What happens with my defensive linebackers, my defensive linemen? I mean, how involved do I have to become? I consider it, frankly, to be ridiculous. And um, unfortunately for us, um, not only is the, uh, are the explanations here in the manual lacking and uh, not very helpful, but when we go over here to the strategy guide, there's absolutely nothing in here about the best way to manage your um, offense and your defense, the best way to manage personnel, and um, how the computer manager looks into, uh, or the uh, computer coach will look into managing them. Now, if I were going to like have anything I want in this game, I would want something a little bit closer to what we get in the game like, say, Football Manager, right? If you haven't played that before, you really should. In Football Manager, you have an assistant manager who will pop up and say so-and-so is tired, he needs to be rested. In fact, let me show you a little bit from Football Manager so you have um, a little bit of an uh, idea of what's going on. All right, so here we are in my lovely uh, Yenbian FC save here in Football Manager. This is the other kind of football. This is a uh, soccer game. And I'll tell you, the interesting thing about this game is that when I go look at my squad, so it's a lot easier to get to where my squad is in this game. You'll notice I don't have to, like, double-click on anything. I don't have to wait forever for the virtual basic uh, programmed uh, thing to come up. And look at what I have here. I have um, condition which is put forward in a heart that I can look at. I can see which players are tired after the recent matches, and I probably shouldn't play. I also have uh, match sharpness, which is a different thing, and it will also tell me which players are lacking in match sharpness, and I can see this beforehand. There is, let's see if I can find it here, there is a uh, medical center as well that I can look at that will tell me who is, has higher injury susceptibility, who has a lower injury susceptibility, and I can look at a lot of this information during the game as well, right? In other words, information is presented to me, and it's presented to me in a form that is easy for me to understand and in a form that allows me to make a decision right away, right? I'm not clicking around and looking close and, and you know looking in like two or three different windows to find the injury rating. You know, I'm not like clicking around all over the place trying to figure out, okay, how many, you know, attempts or appearances or whatever this guy have in real life, right? It's actually sort of gamified like a game designed to replicate the way that things are in real life. It's quite realistic. But the way that the information is presented to me is something that I can actually deal with. And I have, look, I have a head of sports science who will give me a bunch of information and a bunch of uh, advice as to how certain players should be handled. And I can look at to risk assessment. I can see, okay, well, maybe this guy we don't start. Maybe this guy we do start. I can come up with a plan. I can look at the injury history and I can 
can figure out everything that's happened for every single player on the entire squad, including on the youth squad, right? This is the sort of thing that we want. This helps a lot with immersion. It becomes a lot easier for me when I'm playing this game to actually feel like I'm coaching a team instead of feeling like I'm playing with, you know, glorified spreadsheet and, you know, some algorithm that I can't see has dictated that this player is now fatigued for reasons that are unclear to me. So that's the big rant, really. And, you know, I hope that at some point in time, I mean, action PC football doesn't have to necessarily look as smooth and as polished as Football Manager, but I do hope that um, somebody looks at some of the other games and says what works with this and what is better for the user. This is a lot easier to use um, than to uh, be playing halfway through your replay and all of a sudden realize that your guy is fatigued and that if you use him at all, um, his uh, ability to perform suddenly like goes away mysteriously and instantly. You know, I mean, that is totally ridiculous. Anyway, so there you have it. That's my little rant. There's a lot of things to love about action PC football. I love the back and forth. I love the chess match that we see in each game. But I absolutely despise the fact that because of the way that usage has worked and because of the number of plays I'm calling that all of my good receivers cannot be used in key moments and key games for random arbitrary reasons. It makes no sense. It's not well programmed. It's not well designed. It's not user friendly. I want to see something that will tell me beforehand what I should be doing or warn me that, you know, you're pacing things wrong. You need this to happen and that to happen. Why can't I have a little offensive coordinator pop up once in a while and say, hey, we need to take this guy out and do something with some other guy instead, right? If I'm up by two touchdowns, why doesn't he pop up and say, hey, maybe now's a good time to use some of the uh, second or third string players, you know? And speaking of which, why can't I have it set up so that I have a clearly defined first string, second th- string, and third string right that would make a lot more sense why do i have to have you know every single possible formation available for every team when i know that it wasn't used in real life why can't i have a much more simple formation setup why can't i choose at the very beginning oh i only want to play with a 3-4 defense i want everything to be based around the 3-4 defense instead of having everything be possible whether or not it makes sense you know given what my personnel is like those are the questions i have and that's the sort of thing that kind of keeps me up at night with this game Action PC football is good, but it needs a lot of work before we can really like give it the uh, marquee treatment and before it can really compete with some of the big boys. I think it should be able to because I think that the big, uh, uh, you know, triple A or quadruple A, you know, major franchise uh, football games, i.e. the Madden series. I don't think that those games are well designed. I don't think that they're fun to play. I think that, you know, a lot of people have complaints with them. This game, Action PC Football, should be able to step up into the uh, void that is left by all of the problems with the Madden series. But it can't, and the reason why it can't is because it's not designed to be user-friendly, and this fatigue system and usage system is going to drive me up the wall. So I hope that it fix. I hope that it's fixed. I hope that it's changed, and until it is, I'm going to keep ranting about this. Talk to you later. Bye.